You know, it's kind of chilly outside today. <laughs> Jen is helping us through the, it really is a transition, isn't it? To go from, you know, your boots and then eventually to the flip flops. Yes, we are at the DSW store in Ardmore, and I've uh, tricked Dr. Masai Smith to join for Come joining here. us. Good morning. Good morning. We've been talking off camera and having so much fun talking about feet. Have and a great time. You're so cute and adorable, but you love to talk about these freaky feet. I do. I do. I really do. Okay, we gave people the test. We said of all these products, first of all, why do we have to get our feet ready for flip flops and sandals and open toe season? Well, mainly because they're visible. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> has to see them. Yeah. And what people do is they try to think. Of creative ways to get their feet ready for the summer and that's what we're gonna talk about okay and so I said to you mm -hmm. I need freaky stuff that freaky actually stuff. works because mm -hmm. we all know that there's foot creams and stuff and you say that's all good yes um, and you like stuff like this like this is just a regular a regular bomb cracked heel cracked heel mm -hmm. is the heel the biggest crisis when it comes to our feet yes yes in, in, my, in my office uh, I prescribe lots of medications for people who are interested in getting things for their heel. It's very common, extremely common. I write dozens of these scripts probably on a daily basis. Okay, the one thing that you said though, especially when it gets warm out that mm -hmm. we forget about, we put mm -hmm. our SPF all over our face, exactly. maybe on our arms. You say SPF on the feet is a very, very important thing Abs to do. Absolutely. What happens is people forget about their feet. They put SPF all over their body, but when they get down to their ankles, they forget. And Neutrogena has this new product with this Helioplex which affects the ultraviolet light A wave and B wave. It's an excellent product, lasts 80 minutes. It's uh, sweat resistant and water resistant. So you can actually walk around and have a good time and enjoy your, enjoy your beach time without worrying about this washing away on you. Talk to me about putting wrinkle cream on my feet. <laughs> you think that's a good idea? I do, because just as you get wrinkles on your hands, your, your, your hands, your face, you also get them on your feet. And your feet are exposed, especially if we're talking summer now. Yeah. You're really exposed. And you know, keep in mind, we just talked about how people forget their feet when it comes to putting skin protectants on there. So you can get that, that f the uh, photo damage, you know, which is the UV light, and they become wrinkled and stuff like that. But using a good skin cream, a good anti-wrinkle cream would help will be excellent you know use it just like you take care of your face use now it in the morning and use it at night you are doing your your dr masai smith mm -hmm. but you're playing martha stewart on yes TV. i am okay so what is this all about you say avocado and honey it's a good idea for our feet absolutely avocado is high in biotin which is good for skin and nails anyway and hair so what i saw is a, a good a good recipe for honey and avocado, but wait, we're gonna do a little twist for feet. Okay. Because that's a face combination. Carol, Carol's daughter, almond cookie, oh, sounds so good, doesn't it? You mix that with uh, honey, the oil, and avocado, mash it together, rub it into your feet. We're talking heaven. Really? We're talking heaven. No more freaky feet coming into Dr. <laughs> Smith's office. Um, here's the good news, ladies and gentlemen. I, I have him held hostage here at the DSW <laughs> in Ardmore. So coming up, we're going to talk about, he says your, your shoes are the number one thing that you have to consider when it comes to whether or not you're going to get a blister, because that's what a lot of people worry about. Okay. So uh, we'll be talking about, it's going to surprise you, I think, which ones he likes and which ones he says are... So he's, they're, so they're he's coming together. back, because Lisa and about 80 other people on the Facebook page this morning want him back. Here's the thing. He's single, okay? And here's the thing. He, um, listen, look, okay, there he is. He's so nice, and I think he's incredibly dateable. Lisa, he's there you go. He's a doctor. Crazy. And listen, no. here's the thing. Pretend like you're not here. Go away. He's very cool, okay? You know some of these doctors? Nice guy. Yeah, I, I do gotta go shopping, though. They're kind of annoying or dorky. They talk back, back, back about doctor stuff. <laughs> Thank you, Jen. And everybody yeah, else yeah. out there. It's I, I love Facebook. I can hear what you guys are, you know, saying. All right, 752, or read it at least. This